There are so many smart home hubs available today, and each one is marketed to you heavily with buzzwords and tech jargon that makes it difficult to understand what you're really getting. If you pick a bad smart home hub, not only can you miss out on features, you could just have a smart home that doesn't work. So today I'm gonna cut through all of these and give you my three best picks. Let's give her. The first hub is the simplest of the three. And in my mind, it's the best hub for beginners and even intermediate level people. I think it's important for people who are starting out to choose a hub that allows them to later upgrade a lot of their products to a more sophisticated hub. This hub does all of that and they do it with good quality and inexpensive devices. That's why I love the Acara M3 hub. Not only can you pick up doorbells, door locks, cameras, door and motion sensors, present sensors, and many more types of sensors, but it comes with that DIY security system for your home or your office and it has a customized front page of the app for you to control your home with. You can also share all of this with your family members and most of Acara's devices can be used without any sort of subscription. They've done a really good job giving you local recording options for all their cameras and their doorbells and many of their products work really well together. In a recent video I showed how their new doorbell could unlock one of their smart door locks with my face being the key. That's really hard to do with other hubs available today. And in fact, I'd love to hear if you've been able to accomplish this some other way. Those kinds of automations are simple to build because Acara has made their automation system easy to work with. And yet, you can build fairly sophisticated automations. This sets them at a level above the Amazon and the Googles and the Apples of the world. But it's not the top automation engine out there. That's what makes this beginner to intermediate. The M3 mostly uses devices from Acara. They sell devices that use Zigbee, Thread, and Wi-Fi today. All of their devices can be connected into this hub, but you're not just limited to Acara products as the hub also supports Matter. So any product with this logo should be able to come into the Acara app and be used together with the app and their automation system. The M3 is also one of the very few Matter bridges out there today. This is a very important feature for those of you that might someday upgrade to a more comprehensive smart home hub. What it does is it allows you to bring all of your Acara devices over to other Matter Ready apps. The hub itself is really well designed. It's fairly small and compact, but it can hang on the wall. You also get ethernet connectivity for high reliability or Wi-Fi if you can't use an ethernet cable in your home. The hub also includes an infrared receiver and an infrared blaster so you can both learn remotes from those old electronics in your home and then control them in a smarter way. Although Acara can integrate with almost every other app out there today, I think it's especially important for people to know that this is probably the best hub to integrate with Apple HomeKit. There are three big reasons I say that. Number one, it's an extremely reliable connection. Number two, Acara builds in some extra features like HomeKit Secure Video. And number three, it's a lower price option than many of the premiums placed on HomeKit certified gear today. This is my choice for most beginners, but some of you might notice that there's no Z-Wave or Bluetooth products that you can use with this hub. And I mentioned that the automation engine wasn't the most sophisticated or comprehensive one out there today. For those things, let's step up a bit to my next hub choice. So I have to tell you one thing that's very important about smart home hubs. Not every hub is intended to do everything a smart home can do. A great example of this is this Lutron Cassetta hub. It's a great hub and it can control their lighting products and their shades and blinds. It's highly reliable, nearly perfect actually, but it's not giving you everything you should expect from a smart home hub. A smart home hub should be able to handle everything from 
security products like door sensors, presence sensors, valve actuators, cameras, smart lighting, door locks and doorbells, thermostats, and maybe even robot-like devices. And then maybe more. Smart home hubs should have an automation engine and they have to be deep enough that you can actually mimic the situation that you'd like to automate. Most people have used apps like Google Home and Amazon and Apple HomeKit. They have a very simple automation engine that won't help you in many moments. And I think a modern day hub should have both a DIY security system so you don't have to pay go crazy in here, as well as what is called a dashboard feature that allows you to easily control your home from a single screen. Now that's not a comprehensive breakdown of hubs, but I do have one of those. I've linked below a video called Smart Home Hubs 101 that'll give you everything you need. I recommend after you watch today's video that you go watch that. Three years ago, I wouldn't have put this hub anywhere near this list, but the company has taken time to build out their app, their integration with the rest of the industry, and they built a world-class automation engine as well as a world-class dashboard system. This hub is called the Homey Pro 2023. To call this an expensive hub would be an understatement. And I'm not even saying that it's perfect, but what ultimately makes this one of the top hubs out there today is the incredible depth for your automations and your dashboards combined with those features being so easy to use. When you go to build an automation in most apps, what you end up looking at is a little text-based field. This is the way it looks when you build automations in the Homey app. You can see triggers and then you can see actions. And then in the middle here, you can add in some conditions. Conditions are actually something that many of the smart home hubs on the table here today don't have. However, this gets much better when you step outside of the Homey app and use the web browser. Instead of building those simple text-based automations, you can build automations that look like this. Homey calls this a flow, and it's a completely visual way to build incredible automations. This tool turns novices into experts when it comes to creating automation in their home. It's drag and drop and you get a diagnosis type tool that allows you to run the automation and see how it plays out. It's very easy to build great automations like this one that manages my shades for my whole home. The dashboard tool is very similar in its sophistication and yet again, it's very easy to build these. One of the nicest features of these is that everyone in your household gets their own customizable homepage in the app so they can place their favorite controls, graphs, and more on their personal page. Then you can put the app on tablets throughout your home and use the full dashboard feature to have your whole home or a part of your home at your fingertips at all times. You get so many controls and the pages are incredibly useful once you've spent just a little time building out your dashboards. Now the hub itself is very powerful and it contains every smart home radio that you could want. Zigbee, Z-Wave, Thread, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as well as a 433 megahertz radio. Plus the hub has an infrared blaster. You're gonna be able to control just about anything out there today. And the only gap in terms of connectivity for this hub is that you don't have Z-Wave long range, which is a brand new standard for communicating very long distances. One of the bigger knocks on this hub is that it doesn't have an incredible range of products that can be connected to it. However, like I said earlier, the company's done a lot of work over the last few years to get more companies integrated, and they're making some good progress. If you're in Europe, this probably won't be a problem for you, but in North America, we can see sometimes there's a few less choices than you might hope for. One of the really neat things about this hub is that you can also integrate a number of services. For example, I integrate with Google Docs as well as a weather service, so I can build automations based off the weather outdoors. I have personally used this to build my own security system, and I've integrated everything from cameras and doorbells and all the sensors I need 
to things like a keypad. The whole system turns on and off automatically when everyone leaves or when one of us comes home. So it's incredibly convenient and that has actually taken some money off of my insurance every month. So while Homey Pro is an expensive hub, it is world class and very few people that I know have regretted their purchase of this. This is called Home Assistant Green. It's a tech wizard's dream. And if you're someone who wants the ultimate capability to build a smart home that impresses everyone and then actually works, then this is the way I would tell you to go. Now, when we're talking about Home Assistant, you can use a lot of different hardware, okay? Everything from Raspberry Pis to actual servers. And I'm not saying that this is where you should always use Home Assistant. But one of the reasons that I find people struggle with Home Assistant is that it can be daunting to get started. So I like that Home Assistant Green gets you through a lot of that. The installation of Home Assistant is already done when you buy it. It's easy to plug in the radios into the back here and you will have to buy radios in order to make your smart home truly fantastic. That's the real drawback with this platform. You have to research, decide, and buy all the separate components that you want to use. For example, if you want a Z-Wave radio, you have to decide if you want the new ZWA2 or you want a dongle type that handles Zigbee and Z-Wave. How will you get thread and Bluetooth? These are all things that you have to figure out and decide on. When you start to piece together your smart home, you'll find the most genius community out there. People have been building incredible automations with this system and it is essentially unlimited in what you can do. If you want a flow system similar to what I showed you with Homey, install Node-RED. If you want to build dashboards that look the same or maybe even better than Homey's, you just got to look up some of the different options. Then just sit and build. And essentially the integrations for smart home gear are unlimited. It's often hard to find devices that don't work with this platform. And what I'll tell you is even with brand new devices, they might not work initially, but eventually the developer community works on it and find a way to get the new device integrated with the platform. So as long as you're patient and willing to put in the work, you can do just about anything. So today, this is the pinnacle of the smart home, at least in terms of capability. So if you want the ultimate smart home, that's where you head. The links to all three of these hubs are down below in the description. Check those out and if you pick one up, let me know. I'd love to know why you're headed down the path you are. Otherwise, if you're interested in one of these three hubs, then I built playlists that will help you get started with each of them. Those three playlists are on screen now, so check your favorite option out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.